Hello? Getting things finished setting up here. So. As you might be able to see, um, the buttons down at the bottom right are uh, PlayStation buttons because I'm playing on the PS4 at the moment. Uh, my computer is still broken. We're not 100% on what the problem is. Had the motherboard replaced. Uh, that didn't fix it. Had the CPU replaced. That didn't fix it. Got a new power supply. That didn't fix it. Um, all signs are pointing to the motherboard, though. Um, we're just going to try a different brand. See if that helps. It's been about uh, two months of troubleshooting and refunds and all sorts of fun, fun, totally not depressing stuff uh, on top of, like, car issues, which is, scenery is wonderful. financially stressful. So... That's where I am now, with everything. But, Genshin decided to have an event uh, right after Sumeru dropped, because of course. And it decided to have the event take place in Su uh, Sumeru, is apparently how it's pronounced. Um, and you get a little uh, pet fella. You get to choose your color. I think you get a green one by default, but then you get to choose a color as well. Oh, these are weapon ascension materials I've never seen before. Anyway, um, that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be going just far enough into Sumeru to do this Lost Riches thing, which only has 10 days. But again, I've been working on getting my computer fixed uh, for over two months now. And we're not any closer to figuring out exactly what the problem is. We're, we're maybe going to get lucky with this new motherboard. We're, we'll find out. But at the moment, there's no guarantee that um, when this motherboard shows up, as with all the other parts, that the computer will be fixed and will last more than a month. So... We're going to be doing this on the PlayStation, so um, I apologize for any uh, frame hitches that this game will experience. Will experience, sorry. Um, and just overall crust that you may notice. Yeah, this is... Ugh. So first things first is there's a new teleport here, which uh, leads into Sumeru, I believe. So we're just going to start with that. We have to go into Sumeru to get the quest. I wanted to do this on my PC with, uh, you know, fixed 60 FPS and all my settings and my comfortable controller and all that stuff, but uh, all the electronics around me are breaking down at once, whether it be the computer, my car, or the microwave just yesterday. Let's go find some treasure. Sorry, I'm adjusting stream PC screen because it's uh, ghosting a lot. Been dealing with that for a while. Um, I was doing it pretty heavy before. This way? Maybe? I have no idea. Hopefully everything sounds okay. I had to adjust the sound before starting the stream just to make sure everything sounded loud enough. All that fun stuff. Ah. 
This was not here before. So that's new. So, before we do anything, let's set a quest for... This one. It's not too... F In the grand scheme of things, it's not too far away. The only thing I will do in this new region, I won't explore too much. Follow the wind. Um, but I will get Statue of the Seven. Oh, we're already starting to see overgrown stuff here. Look at this. Already little pieces of candy to distract me. So they drop meat and mushroom. I'm sure Sapphire would have wanted to capture that, actually. Oh. Four-leaf sigil. This crest, which looks like a four-petaled flower, will sometimes appear in Sumeru. When those who can manipulate the elements are facing one such crest, they can use it to travel swiftly. Sometimes you'll find cluster leaves of cultivation that can scatter these four-leaf sigils around. Use their ability to make your adventures easier. Got a chest over there, but we also have a cutscene. A statue of the seven. This looks a little crusty. Now that we made it to Sumeru, our next objective should be to head to Sumeru City and find a way to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. I'll be back to the keyboard in a second. I'm just scavenging in the fringe for something that my dad has devoured in the night. No problem. And speaking of Lesser Lord Kusanali, even though we haven't heard too much about her, she doesn't seem to be the same deity who abducted your brother. Yeah, probably not. But even so, people call Sumero the Nation of Wisdom, you know. If we can get a chance to meet the God of Wisdom, maybe she can give us some useful information. All right, sounds like a plan. But, uh, Paimon doesn't know the way to Sumero City. Maybe we can climb up to that spot with the Statue of the Seven on it. That'll give us a way better view of things. Even if we can't see exactly where the city is, at least we'll be able to check for some smaller settlements nearby. Ah, uh, hello? Look! Ugh. There's someone up ahead! Perfect timing! Now we can just ask for directions rather than wander around like lost adventurers. Hey there! <laughs> We're not from around here, and seem to have gotten a little lost. We'd like to ask for some directions. Huh? Uh, did they not hear Paimon? Hey! You over there! Could you give us some directions? Huh? Huh. A little dead to the world. Bye! What's going on here? There's no way she could have missed that. Oh, wait! Could she be ignoring us? How dare she? Calm down, it's probably nothing to get worked up about. Well, maybe there's a reason she ignores them? Or... Well, even so, she might be heading someplace where we could get <clears throat> other people to ask. Let's keep our distance and follow her. When we get the chance, we'll just ask someone else for directions. Through the mists of smoke and forest stark. Come on, let's follow her. Just keep quiet. Make sure she doesn't notice us. First dendro signal. Yo. Game makes you feel like you're Spider-Man. The world op opens itself with those of. Okay, the world opens itself before those with noble hearts. 
It's been a while since I read that. Hey! Teleport's currently disabled. Okay, we need to uh, do this quest. That's a little Korok fella. Eh? What were those? Koro, did you see them? What are you talking about? Those little round plant-like things. Gone just like that. You're seeing things, Paimon. No, they're creatures, you know, little fairies or something. Stop patronizing Paimon. They were not hallucinations. Anyway, we should ask when we get the ask around when we get the chance. I was gonna accuse her of doing some shrooms. Uh, okay, so you get Dendro, Sigils, Keys, you do not get Stamina. So that's another region without Stamina boosts. Not that it's horribly needed, but... But... Ah. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is the quest I want to do. Can I teleport? Okay, I can teleport. I don't even want to start the story. I don't even want to follow this sus suspicious person. I want it to be days, weeks, even, before I uh, follow this person. Uh, we're going... This way. Let's navigate to this teleport. Again, I'm, I'm going to do the bare minimum. I'm just trying to do this quest to get the pet. And we're going to come back to Sumeru to explore and story and all this fun, good, new, exciting stuff when the PC is fixed. But for now, we're doing crusty PS4 for... Um, current event stuff. And that's it. I'm not even going to go for, like, uh, Dendroculus stuff that I see on the map. I'm not going to get distracted. I'm not. Unless it's something really crazy. I am going to get go. um, teleport points on the way, because gut is you'll have to teleport around to get to some of these things quickly. Seeing like mushroom area over there. New music. New fruits. Got the sitar going on here. Sumeru Rose. Stabilize. The wind knows me. Okay, what was that? Yeah, okay. Monster with basic intelligence that evolve from spores when first hit by electro or pyro attacks it will enter either an activated or scorched state based on the elemental attack type used defeat this transform fungus to obtain different types of rewards okay like inactivated fungal nucleus and another one of those I'm really wanting to, to explore this when the graphics are a little better and the frames are a little smoother. It's okay. It's only okay right now. 
Um, but I don't want to get into any sort of like real heavy combat or even like story stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm only doing this event. Thankfully, it just seems like you have to go. You just have to go here. Hello? Didn't you bring me here, little one? Keep moving! Never mind, you better stay put. Is this a Sealy? You mean this little one? Ugh, sort of. I'm duped by it. Again. Let me give you a rundown from the beginning. For starters, you may not believe Sealies are somehow easily drawn to me. Among the Sealies that came to follow me, I found one kind that is particularly keen on treasure seeking. I'm not good at naming, I'll just call them treasure seeking Sealies. They excel at treasure seeking, with their help. I dug up a lot of treasures and made a profit with them. But sometimes they suddenly tune out on me. I don't know if they're tired of the seeking or just think I'm too boring. Then I'd find a helper favored by the Sealies. The helper takes treasure-seeking Sealies to locate the treasures, and I sell them for a fair price. They say ruins and antiques are everywhere in Sumeru, so I came to look for my fortune. And I attracted a bunch of Sealies here, of course. Some treasure-seeking Sealies brought me here. But they ignored me again not long after I scooped up some dirt. Uh, why did it suddenly start to move? Could it be... Traveler, are you interested in treasure-seeking with Sealies? Me? That won't be necessary. Just follow it and dig where it stops. How's that sound? Just give it a try. If you scoop up some treasure, I'll, I'll only want the ancient iron coins if there is any. The rest is all yours. I say you do help me find... And say you do help me find some of those coins, I'll pay you for them at a fair price. What are ancient iron coins? Simply put, it's a kind of antique. With good connections, I'll be able to exchange the coins for some decent stuff. I haven't found any good connections, though. Anyway, we're partners now. Take this notebook. I recorded it on... Uh, take this notebook. I recorded on it some hidden treasure sites I found before, but haven't had a chance for a dig. Counting on you, then, traveler. Come back and bring me the ancient iron coins if you find any. Check the treasure map with Omen's treasure book. Follow the map to reach the area where the treasure is buried. Omen will mark out one new area in the book every day for a total of six treasure areas. Uh, all of them should be fully unlocked now. Like this whole quest line. If you equip the treasure seeking Sealy from your inventory, you can summon it within the treasure area. However, if you're not in a treasure area, treasure seeking Sealy will not answer your summons. After you equip the summon the treasure seeking Sealy, the mini map will mark a location of energy emissions. Go to these areas, help revitalize it. Okay, go to an area, unleash the Sealy, collect three energy signatures, and you're done. Sealy will seek the treasure out within a certain radius. You must help treasure-seeking Sealy collect energy and keep its energy levels up. Helping the Sealy to completely regenerate its energy within a certain amount of time will allow it to keep start searching for treasure. We'll stay there and display the location of the treasure itself. Take the treasure up and open the chest to obtain various rewards. Okay. So first things first. Ah, dang. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, we're not in a area. I had a feeling. Let's get this teleport up here so it's easy to come back to this guy if we need to. Come on. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Don't want to spoil it. Don't want to spoil it. Don't want to... Don't want to spoil it. There's a fucking city here. Uh, don't want to... Don't want to spoil it. Don't, don't look. Don't look. Don't look, I said. Excuse me, sir. Just walking up these stairs and not looking at anything. Not looking at anything... At all. Scabbing that. All right, so. Okay, first area is to the left of Sumeru. In that general area. Sumeru, Sumeru City. Uh, 
right? Like right over here? Oh boy, we know I have to open up some of the map to get these things. Um... Maybe that's not the area. I might have to go to these Statues of the Seven and focus on that to open up the map real quick. So let's do it. But without spoiling anything, looking at the ground the entire time, doesn't that sound like fun? Yes. I concur. It sounds like the most fun. Don't want to dodge. Nope. I see what you're doing. You're not going to trick me into looking at things. Nope. We're just, we're just getting the Statues of the Seven and nothing else. Sounds like messing with SCP. Uh-huh. What is this? Bouncy Mushrooms. Under normal circumstances, you can jump on it to be bounced at a higher height. Its elasticity will be further increased after you have activated it using Electro. The species of bouncy mushroom is a type of Trilokshana tri creature. You can jump on it to be bounced. D -d 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 Electro, okay. Let's try that. Illusion shattered. Um. Yo, that's pretty cool. I'm sure I'll become more accustomed to it. No, I'm not getting these. I'm not getting these treasure chests. I'm not doing anything. I'm not lighting that torch. We're just going for that statue, and that's it. Oh, you're an enemy. There is no escape. Whoa, lots of meat from this guy. I'm sure Sapphire loves that creature. A fateful offering. Reminds me of the um the big furry things in uh Oh, what's it called? Valheim. That game. There's the there's an area later on. If you watch my Valheim thing, we had an area we called uh, Pie Base. It's a very high level part of the game where there was like little goblin creatures, but there's big like bantha sized uh, bison, whatever the fucks that. Uh, Gave a lot of meat that we used for meat pies. I'm not getting the... The Dendroculus. I'm not doing that thing. We're doing the bare minimum right now so we can do this quest. Bare minimum. Again, we're playing this on PS4. And I don't want to do story or quests or anything like that with the, the low shitty frame rate. So first area seems to be over in this region. So we can start heading there. No, I'm, I'm good. So I heard that um, Dendro Traveler is actually pretty decent. Like, near top tier, not not in the top tier, but like just below it. Like, there's double S, but then there's also S right below it. And uh, Dind Dindro Traveler is in regular S tier for support. Which I assume is for the Dindro Elemental Reaction. Follow the wind. And maybe that'll shift when more uh, Dindro characters are released in the game, because at this point there's three. Which, by the way, before I forget, Tainari's in the game. Um, he has 
less than a day left. I was going to put one wish into him, so let's do that. One wish. Here we go. Nope. <laughs> Sounds pretty rare for Dendro. So yeah, Dendro Traveler is technically a Dendro character. We got Cole there on, you can see, to the right of Tainari, uh, the green-haired girl, which is in the story and we'll meet her at some point, but not today. And those, that's the only three Dendro characters in the game at the moment. Uh, one wish for Zhongli. Here we go. There you go. My rule is to throw one wish at each of the new, or each of the banner characters, even if it's something that's popped up before, just to see if I get lucky with a five star. I wouldn't mind having another Zhongli. That means I could do uh, two of these pillars if I did get another one of them. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Nice crossbow. Nice battle music. So these chests were in Inazuma, I think? And they just had, uh... I guess they were similar. They were green chests. And they just had, uh, furniture for your teapot. A fateful offering. Yeah, so this has furniture as well. Five primos, though. That's... That might be worth going after those chests regardless. Okay. But we're not going after chests. Those guys literally picked a fight. We're going to the... The fuck? Sorry, seen and unseen. The Trilakshana creatures are activated using Electro. They will unleash a true sense pulse that may be able to display the location of certain hidden things. Electro seems to play a major role in the Dendro reactions, which is cool because I got Raiden. Dreadful withering. The withering is not a fixed location. Instead, it refers to areas that have been corroded. Scary music by some sort of mysterious ominous power in these areas characters will accumulate decay the speed of this accumulation will differ depending on the withering zone you're in oh depending on how much decay you have accumulated all your party members will have all their elemental resist physical resistance and max hp decreased these stats will decrease more in accordance with the amount of decay you accrued dreadful withering if you remain within withering zones after you fully accumulate decay all your party members will fall you must use the power of the dendrogana to clear out clear the withering away only via this method can you destroy the withering branches that spread this corrosive power only when all withering branches within a withering zone are destroyed can the tumor of the withering at the beating heart of the area be destroyed most withering zones can be destroyed in this way, but within withering zones, candles of life and flames of life may appear and help to decrease the accumulation of decay. Prepare for the worst before entering the withering zones. So there's a timer before you just fucking die? Wind Shine down. So these things are linked to it, so I have to... Uh Illusion shattered. The hell are you supposed to do again? There is no escape. Let's read that one more time. Specifically, dangerous within the withering zone. There are other perils within the withering zones apart from the decay. Monsters that have been corroded by this environment and fetid bow boughs? Yeah. Will grow in the area, will attack characters within, causing decay to accumulate. In addition, the tumor of the withering will exhort disciples of, dis of decay to come forth and attack. 
These are monsters who have utterly fallen under the influence of the Withering and have the protection of the Withering against damage. Use Dendro or Dendrogana to effectively destroy the shields guarding these monsters. Well, I don't have Dendro. Unless I switch Traveler in. That thing. Hang on a sec. I love hearing going about Gatches the smart Gatches the smart way. I actually witnessed another streamer start spiraling a few days ago. So the way I go with Gotcha in this game, if it's a character I don't want, I uh, I'll throw one wish at it, just cause. Because in this game, at least whenever you do wish, uh, it goes towards the pity, which is if you do ninety wishes in an in a banner, an event banner like this or this, it carries over to the next one. And at 90, you're guaranteed to get a 5-star. It's 50-50 whether you'll get a random 5-star from this pool or the one that's there. So, you know, you're risking, you know, getting one you don't want. But I'm not too many wishes in. I, I only pull for characters I know that I like, which Tainari... I tried him out. I, uh... I did the test run for him. He's pretty good. He's a decent DPS, Dendro. But uh, he I don't think he'd fit on my team. Ah, this is like the Electro -gra Grana. So what if we do this? What if we... Uh-huh. Company of appearance. Yeah. When charged attacks and aim char shots hit... Dendrogarden will attack alongside them. Charge attacks. Okay. Very good. One with nature. Okay, I get rid of some of that. So the withering is pretty creepy, I'll say. They're doing a good job at um, scaring you. Also making it threatening, which is to say... It's not the damage that'll kill you. It's like, it just insta-kills you if you're in it too long. Oh, goody. Shine down. Everybody stand back. Let this is order. As one with wind and cloud, one with nature. Now you shall perish. Illusion shatters. Uh... Nice! Take them. I have no need. That's pretty cool. I will no longer get distracted by any of those... today. That's an interesting thing to throw. Just like a danger area. <laughs> It's got to be tied to the story, too, right? Nice fin boy grunt. How far away do I need to... Yeah. I see the Dendroculus. I'm not getting it. We're going up there. So, enter treasure area. Okay, yeah, 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 I'll get to that. In my spare time, um, I booted up Octopath Traveler on the Switch and uh, started playing that again. Uh, I did a bit of grinding in the game that uh, is necessary going forward. 
and also explored just a little around the areas that I left off on way back when I stopped playing it. Nope. Uh, basically, setting myself up for whenever I do stream the game again, uh, I'll be able to just go in, do story, and just progress. And the, the main reason I stopped playing the game way back when is because I ran into the realization that the the characters, the main characters in the game, do not interact with each other through the story. You have to get these, like, um, basically little banter events, but it requires that you have certain members of your party in the party during certain members' stories, and you can't do them back-to-back. -back. You have to, like, leave a town, like, 11 times, and then all of a sudden another one will be... It's just stupid. It's a stupid way of doing it. So I stopped playing. I was, I was upset by it. So my way around it, when I go back to it, is I'm just gonna watch a fucking YouTube video. People have it in chapters. They have, like, chapter 2, chapter 3, and chapter 4. All of those conversations. So once I get done with everybody's chapter 2, I'm just gonna watch an hour-long banter video. And just... and. Wherever do voiceover. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do at some point. But then I I got done grinding with that. Um, so next, whenever I feel like booting up Octopath, I will boot it up. And uh, I can play Octopath and I'll just be good to go with story. After that... I booted up Final Fantasy X, some, another RPG that I just sort of abandoned after a while. Um, because, believe it or not, there is a ton of grinding to do in that game if you really want to, like, get the character strong. So, uh, currently working on that. I've got a good, uh, good enough method at the moment. And what the fuck? Let me Spider-Man up there. Follow the wind. Um, I found this method online, and it's uh, basically you set characters' limit breaks to charge whenever they are damaged or whenever a party member is damaged. There is no escape. And then you uh, set your weapons to basically put Limit Break Charge in it and convert it to experience instead. And then you go up against this really tough creature, a Tonberry, who uh, responds for, to attacking by doing like an insta-kill move. Like, if you've killed 100 enemies, he'll do uh, 10,000 damage to you. But by the point of the game I'm in at the moment, I've killed, like, you know, 800 per character at the very least. So he's doing, like, 82,000 damage to characters, just insta-killing them in response. So that damage is charging the limit break, but it gets converted into experience for the whole party. And then the weapons also are tripling that amount. So after, like, one battle with a Tonberry killing a member of the party over and over, I just, like, I attack with a member of the party, they get insta-killed. And then uh, I revive them, and they just attack, insta-kill, revive, attack, insta-kill, revive, until they're too close to really deal with properly, and you just run from the battle, and you still level up, like, 45 times. Uh, so that's what I'm doing at the moment. I'm leveling up everybody's uh, sphere grid all the way. I've already finished going through the entire sphere grid with two characters. So we're well on the way to uh, there is no maxing out everybody. But there's more to be done after that. There's getting specific abilities on weapons to make really good weapon combos and armor combos. Uh, there's also... Uh, what is going on here? Yeah, you did. Gather. Illusion shattered. Nice trick. 
into the wind. Be strong. I'm going in. I will have order. Clouds high. The birds call. One with nature. Uh, where was I? I was gonna get this thing. That's why I called down the pillar. Quake. This guy is being trapped. I'm not gonna get distracted by this. So there's multiple tre treasure areas. The wind knows it. Shine down. <laughs> get over here. Not sure what that um is about. Get out of here! Into the wind. There is no escape. Ah, we're just getting these things. Gotcha. But a momentary destruction. Yeah, no kidding. So that's what I'm doing in Final Fantasy X in my off time because I only have access to a PS4 and a Switch. So I'm watching vid like YouTube on PS4 and grinding in Final Fantasy X on the Switch. Uh, once I fill out the sphere grid with everybody, I'm going to work on getting good weapons and armor. And then I think I'll be good to go with uh, the end game content. Because I have like most of their ultimate weapons. I need to do Blitzball for Waka, his ultimate weapon and his fucking limit break, which is I'm not looking forward to. Blitzball is fun, but it gets hard really quick. Um, so I'm going to need to do that. And yeah. Currently just on the grind with that game. Like, I I've got them doing like 99,000 damage when they attack, like just a normal attack. They have to have a weapon that allows them to break the 10,000 cap, but they are capable of doing 100,000 damage just by normal attacking. Uh, but enemies with uh, high defense, you know, they'll uh, not take that max damage. Summons are a lot more busted than I remember them being. I don't think I used them properly when I was younger. Don't get distracted. I'm getting distracted. Teamwork is dreamwork. Huh. Order guide you. Stabilize. Fallen leaves adorn my night. The wind knows. Torn to oblivion. My well, riding shogun wasn't having that. That's cool. That's a new uh, mech creature. Gather. Shine down. Into the wind. I'm also curious at what this achievement was. Get over here. It's a Mortal Kombat reference. Shoot down a flying fungus. Get over here! Doesn't really make sense. Stabilize. Oh, Dendro. Okay, Skywatch. First of all, yeah, Ruin Drake. Skywatch. A ruined machine that can absorb energy and hurl it back as an attack. Through and Drake Skywatch can periodically release a danger tor dangerous torrent of energy and increase its own elemental resistance against the previous main type of elemental damage it suffered. Interesting. Under various circumstances, the cores all over its body be exposed. Take this opportunity to attack those cores. And you may be able to immobilize this creature and undo its elemental resistance boost. I think I just, like, brute forced that and killed it. Dendro Spectre. High elemental concentrations have resulted in the creation of this floating creature. When it takes a single grievous hit, it will build fury. 
When a specter hits maximum fury, it will expand, becoming larger and stronger, and it will explode violently while defeated. Yes, it will. And the chest. Okay, we got another dig spot over here. This might be the final dig spot in this area. Getting the gist of what this event has to offer. Anyway, uh, I'm using this stream as a way to, you know, catch up just a little bit. Wait, what? Oh my god. I was like, well, where are the enemies? Ooh, nice lag there. Is there any more? Oh. Oh. Just wandered into him up here. Okay. Follow the wind. Oh, I'm doing this backwards. Whoops. That's fine. You do have to get all of them, though. Brings a smile to my face. Okay, I think that's all of them in this area. Treasure Area 2, it's near the desert, um, which I don't think is actually part of this update. There's six of them. So there's six of these types of things here. Um, I think I'll do all of them on stream. We can, we can blow through these pretty quick, I think. Um, I just need to... Go left. I guess I'll talk about, um... I've already mentioned, uh, what's going on with, uh, computer. I'm waiting on a motherboard, and we're not even sure if that's going to fix the problem. Um, it's our best guess, just to get a different brand of motherboard and hope for the best. All the negative reviews, there's, like, a bunch of one-star reviews for the motherboard I did have. Um, and a lot of them were like, hey, it worked for a month, and then it fucking blue-screened and never launched after that. Wasn't sending video signal. It's like, very, very much what happened to my hard drive. This is about being seal on the stone pillar. Uses... This, this unique sort of stone pillar seems to be the key to sealing certain ruin machines. Use pyro to neutralize the enemy energy within them which will then release the machines from their seal, but you aren't actually supposed to be unsealing such monsters, are you? Well, I'm definitely not doing that for different reasons. Now. There is no... Get over here! That's a get over here. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that the when the new motherboard comes in, which... Yeah. Actually, I need to check something. I'm waiting on a refund, specifically. I already got the refund for the, the replacement motherboard. I'm waiting on the refund for the CPU, because that that's not the problem. Uh, I already got the refund for the warranties. Yeah. So, once I get the refund for the CPU itself, which is like a hundred and... I don't know, I don't know. This has not been a fun time. Troubleshooting and fixing this computer. All while this has been going on the past two months, since like June, uh, my car has been having several issues. Uh, the most expensive one was I had a transmission leak, and that was $800. And then, um, most recently, my car broke down at work, and I had to get a tow. 
and that was $120. And... Follow the wind. I got a tow to the car place, and they said, oh yeah, it's your starter. And I was like, oh cool, I got my starter replaced like a year and a half ago. Uh, so it should be under warranty, and they're like, yeah, it should be. And, you know, days go by, because Labor Day weekend... And they, they're just, like, so timid about it. They're, like, afraid to fucking talk to me. Going, like, yeah, well, we, uh, we looked into it. And it's not actually covered by the war the warranty because we only cover up to a year, 12 months. I was like, okay, so this part, this, um, this starter. Usually when you put that in a car, you don't have to replace that for its entire lifetime. Like... You're, you're supposed to be able to start at like 80,000 to 100,000 times before the starter breaks. That's typically, typically, how long a starter lasts. Uh, and I did the math. I highballed it. At me starting my car about 20 times a day, four times a week, those are the days of the week I work, um, 52 times a year for a year and a half, uh, it, it equaled up to about 6,700 something starts. 6,700 starts. And I don't... That's like 12 to 13 times less than the average lifespan of a starter. So they got me a starter that broke down 12 to 13 times faster than it should have. I should have had that started for like 12 more years, is what I'm saying. Um, so, it wasn't covered, and I had to pay another $400 to, uh, get it replaced. Spider-Man. Um... So yeah, that's what I'm dealing with. I'm dealing with like financial uh, strain as well as like just mental bullshit. I've been dealing with not having a PC, a working PC for over two months now and actively trying to get it fixed. Day-to-day uh, -day, like ha just seeing shipping updates or get, trying to get updates from... Uh, Ron on whether the uh, the computer is like how it's coming along just to find out that Nope, that didn't fix it. You gotta try get another part. Nope, that didn't fix it. Try to get another part and this is like Days or weeks in between each part and It's just so fucking exhausting uh, And it's just accumulated over the past two months. I'm been really stressed It sounds stupid to be stressed about not having a fucking PC But honestly, it's just that on top of the car stuff has been just difficult over the past uh, two months. Uh, and, and this shit came about right before... I, w I was looking forward to this new region, like, a lot. I was, I was really looking forward to, like, exploring this new region. And I'm actively not exploring right now. I'm literally going from Statue of Seven to Statue of Seven. And doing this event and nothing else because I want to sit down with my PC, have good frame rates, have a not a PS4 controller, this chunky thing with the D-pad on the wrong side, uh, and explore and enjoy myself. I wanted to explore with uh, Sapphire, but it's been two fucking months since this region dropped now, more or less. Or no, it's been... no. It's been less than that. The, the, the didn't... Sumeru update wasn't too long ago, but... My computer started messing up two months ago, and I had, like, a day of it working. I was like, okay, it's fixed, and then it broke again. Uh, nope. Not getting distracted. Not getting distracted. Don't! Nope. Not getting distracted. It's, not, it's really not stupid when you calculate the computer is an ideal necessity for most people. Yeah, I mean, 
what did Obama that ended up uh, putting high speed internet as a uh, a utility, like a guaranteed utility for homes, like electricity, water, gas, internet uh, was added there. So like, while internet isn't necessarily computers, it's very closely tied and a very integral part of most people's lives. And my main form of that, I obviously have a computer. I have my stream computer. But this thing fucking has a heart attack whenever I open a Chrome tab. So I'm obviously not going to be hooking that up to the TV to watch uh, YouTube and stuff like that. It's just not feasible. What is going on? All these frames. Ugh. These things are fun to zip around on. Um, and I think that you can, like, shortcut. Once you get one done, you can uh, shortcut with right bumper or R1 to go to the next one. But I'm, I'm struggling to actually get it some of these times. There's another withering zone. Again, we know what those are like. We're not going to do it right now. We're just going to get these statues of the seven. Do these treasure chest things. And then, uh... Get a little pet? A little pet fella to follow us around. I haven't decided which color I want to get. But yeah, this uh, region's pretty big already. Um... Jeez, you can see that right there. Okay, uh, so this... Oof. This all... Jesus Christ, this frames... The, all of this is Sumeru so far. We don't have the desert region, which is going to be like... This... I think? So this area is going to be pretty chunky in size. I'm sorry, did my... Did I just set a pen down? I've got like uh, switch controls in my head, so... The accept button is not the same as what I'm used to. And trust me, I, I, whenever I get the, compu the computer fixed, win. There, there's, I'm not going to like go the rest of my life without a computer. There will be a time at which I have a gaming PC. Whenever that time comes, I will give this... Uh, Shine down! region, the fair ex exploration that it deserves. I will have order. Clouds high. The birds call. One with nature. Now you shall perish. They never get through that last one. Nice jungle noises here. I think this is the final statue of the seven for this region at the moment. And I think the story that we have right now uh, isn't currently finished for this region. There's like a, at least another two acts. There's two acts now. There's going to be two acts later. So I'm not like... I will hit a wall in the story whenever I do do this stuff. So okay, where were we, where was that on the map here? Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Um uh, near plateau, branching paths, desert. Here, this area. So let's um, set a marker there, teleport here.
And I think next time I play this game, I'm going to just like, uh, sort of like, I don't know if I should like explore or do, I think I should do story first. I think I'm just like going to crush the story, just go straight through it, barrel through it as much as I can. And then I will go full exploration mode with uh, Sapphire in the game and just explore the region with her. That sounds like fun. But we are on a quest to get a little uh, pet fella to follow us around. I'm tempted to get a little purple one. I didn't... There we go. Oh, hold on. Pfft. Almost distracting me away from getting a teleport point. These are going to be useful. I'd rather not have to come back for... Alright. So if you're in the air, you can glide at these things. Can you... Where is this thing? Down? That's underwater. Okay, this is one we can't get to. Not gonna worry about it. Yeah, th we're gonna have to like drain. There's gonna be a puzzle that drains this pool. I'm I'm not gonna worry about it. I thought it would be an easy just grab it and go, but uh, that's not how this is working out. They're, those things are rolling around. Sapphire probably loves those things. They're big, fluffy things that are rolling around and being cute, but they're enemies, and they attack. Okay. Time to go. Let's power up the spring and jump up the mountain, I suppose. Very nice. What are these things? Oh, there's stamina. Yo! Hey, um... Skyward Sword Cult. <laughs> so I know that Breath of the Wild took its stamina thing from Skyward Sword, but those, those little... Stamina pellets that help you keep climbing, which I don't mind. That's actually a very helpful device to keep you uh, moving. Uh, but that that's straight up Skyward Sword with those with that little section there. Okay, I need to land uh, let the little Sealy out, so let's do that outside the withering zone if possible. Oh boy. The wind knows me. Crumble. There is no escape. Let's light it up. Okay, these things want to fight. This is order. As one with wind and cloud. Into the wind. Morph. Okay. Um, there's a little thing here, right? Yeah, right there. Okay, so those are like, um, the leeway ones. They give you money sometimes, because the first one I did happened to have enemies inside of it. There's one up there. Oh, I was gonna- I was gonna watch her dance! Aramite Desert Clearwater. These sword dancers may be found in the many scattered mercenary groups that hail from the desert. 
It will unleash the ominous spirit sealed in their weapons after taking a certain amount of damage to enter an infused form that greatly boosts their combat capabilities. Once this infused form ends, they will enter a weakened state for a time once this infused form ends. Wait, did they just like double up on that? Once this infused form ends, they will enter a weakened state for a time once this infused form ends. I would consider that a typo. Shine down. Huh? One with nature. I'm getting sick. How'd you go, Super Saiyan? Torn to oblivion. There is no escape. Huh. Tough. Follow the wind. Why don't I just break? <laughs> I don't know my own strength. Um. There it is. Let's try to avoid those things. I will possibly look up a video for... what the Seelies look like. Just, I want, I want to see it next to characters to... Sort of get an idea. Uh, current thoughts are I'm wanting to get a purple one, not only because it will match with Raiden Shogun, but it'll also be like um, it's it's as if it's Kazooie's old dead friend floating around, helping around, help him out. Uh, plus, I like the color purple. Um, but I think I think we'll be able to get a green one. And a color of your choice as well. Um, but I, I actually just want to see how they look. Right, so that's two dig spots. Look at them rolling around. Look at them rolling around on the round. Wait, is it friendly? Well, let's do this dig spot, I suppose. Shine down. Let's light it up into the wind. I think that's it. Dig! Who says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering? Um, I need two more chests. Did it actually show me the location of another one? I think I just need to go kind of south in the circle and see... ...if more of those orbs pop up. Ooh, that hurt! Ooh, 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 Okay, um... Boing? Fuck. We have time. In fact, I'm going to go this way. Well, that's the thing to do. 
certainly worth the extra mile. Excuse me. I had to drink a monster um, to crank this stream out. Uh, I was I was feeling not motivated to do a stream, but um, this event sort of forced my hand. The fact that it took place in Sumeru really forced my hand. Let's see here, Aramite Day Thunder. I might be pronouncing Aramite wrong. Because I didn't know how Sumeru was pronounced. The first time that was ever said out loud was Paimon as we were entering the stream. Or entering the, the region at the beginning of the stream. These warriors form the backbone of many scattered mercenary groups that hail from the desert. They will unleash the ominous spirit sealed in their weapons after taking a certain amount of damage. In infused form. Okay, okay. So kind of like the dancers. <clears throat> but the guy version. Ah. Heal Kazooie. Thank you. Law of the Jungle? Law of the jungle? What is it? Survival of the fittest? Let's Some shit like that? Stabilize. Shine down. One with nature. Y'all picked a fight. I was just passing through. Brings a smile to my face. So the little uh sea lead thing floating around, it's gonna be similar to this, this thing that's floating around with us. Similar but not the same. You yep. follow the wind. There's that. I did hear people complaining about the uh, this little mini Sealy pets being loud. I guess we'll see. Come here. Sorry, little mushroom fella. Stabilize. Teamwork is dreamwork. This is order. The wind knows me. Okay, dig it up. That's it for this area. Okay, Port City, Plateau to the left. Here's the Port City, Plateau to the left. We're gonna make our way here. Closest teleport is here. Do that. I think what I saw on the map just now might have been the giant fucking uh, mech. Might be mistaken, but I guess I'll know whenever I'm here. Yep, there it is. Yeah, it looks crusty. It looks crusty on the PS4. We'll get a better look some other time, but, um... I've seen it right here. God. So, Ron's been helping me with the computer, and he's... He... He's also just going like, I can't wait for this shit. To, I can't wait for this PC thing to be done. I'm I'm sick of it. I'm like, yeah, tell, you're telling me. 
I, I've been without PC for two months, and, uh, yeah, he's like, yeah, this is just... He, he definitely wants to get this over with sooner than later. Um, I'm hoping the new motherboard, uh, fixes the issue. Also, hey, Sal. I'm on my lunch break at a good time. Yeah, we are doing the bare minimum for, uh, Sumeru exploration. We're just going from area to area. Getting teleports nearby where we're going, but not really exploring... ...at all. This is the one exception, though. I want to look at the... ...fisherman. Fisherwoman. So fishing is my Rashid. Okay, let me see... Serendipity. Fishing rod. Okay, there's the bow. So this is the weapon you can get. There's some goofy looking fish. Okay. I like the music so far. Did you come across my favorite critter yet? Let me see. Would that be in the, um... I don't know if they would be here. I don't think it's in the, the bestiary. Um... I... If it's the, the big, fluffy things that are rolling around then yes if it's something else then no Solidify. Illusion shot. Let's light it up. One with nature. this actually reminds me of some Hades music I forgot that they implemented, um, sitars in Hades' soundtrack. Like, as soon as I, like, started saying I was like, oh yeah, that was, like, a main part of the... the soundtrack. That instrument. I love the Oppa things, but no, not that. Okay, well, I haven't run into them yet. They might be in a very specific part of Sumeru, and I haven't run into it just yet. You follow the wind. Let's get this teleport while we're here. I'm sorry, was there a thing to collect on? Yeah, there is. Thought so. Sumter Beast, forgot their name, I just called them Appa. Yeah, I was calling them... I didn't even remember what the name was from Valheim, but those big furry things from Valheim. The ones that we hunted for meat in, at Pi Base. I like these things. This is cool that you could just act. You don't have to have the, um... The elemental thing on to, to zip to these things. It just works. It's like the web zip from Spider-Man. No, you're not like you're not swinging. You're uh, you're zipping.
Okay. One more, and then we'll have the three dig spots, and we can just do those. Okay. Gather. Illusion shattered. The wind knows. Stabilize into the wind. Let's light it up. There is no escape. Ooh, nice frames. But a momentary destruction. My whole party is just filled with, uh, Particle effect frame killers for the PS4. So whenever I want to actually let loose and do all my moves, uh, the PS4 dies a little. Oh, they went away. Interesting. They actually despawned enemies for this? Usually they just pile it up and say, fuck you, fight everything. Yeah, we gotta check something, no problem. Okay. Oh, they back. A new punching bag. Another test subject. All right. Same. Order guide you. Dog. Illusion shut. One with nature. You gonna make me go through all that? Like, ah, I know you just killed the whole squadron within seconds, but I'm gonna shoot an arrow at you. Maybe I'll get lucky. A fateful offering. One of these things. Oh, I'm doing platforming or race. Whoop. Uh, oh, I see what's going on here. Follow the wind. That was weirdly set up. Okay, that's it for this area. I am hydrated. Don't forget to hydrate. Okay. Next area, just below Rivertown. Kind of on the right side. You're hydrated with caramel coffee, yeah, and I'm hydrated with a monster. Um, I believe that's Rivertown, and this is... the closest thing to it. Sapphire, did you do this entire event yet? Do you know, um... Is it actually true that you get both the grass, green, sealy, and then your choice of the other one, or is it just one? Or have you not done it yet?
Because from what I'm seeing, I'm seeing possible rewards in the, the green ones next to all these. You've not done it at all. Okay, well, I guess I will let you know because I'm doing it all right now. Uh, I gotta go north. Come on out, little buddy. Okay, that's one. So yeah, so you just have to find like nine of these particles, and each three gives you a treasure chest challenge. And when you do that, you get a, you know, coins and whatever other stuff out of the treasure chest. It's pretty simple. Uh, it's giving me a kind of a, like a preview of Sumeru, but not like... I'm not... No, 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 no. I'm not going to distract it. I'm not going to distract... I'm not going to follow some mushroom creature. We're not doing that. We're not doing it. As much as I'd like to. Boing. Boing. There must have been a little... Yeah, there we go. Little thing we missed. Seen some of... You've done some of the event, you just haven't finished it. Gotcha. I'm guessing you only get the Sealy when you've done, like, it... Completely. Zip! I really like those things. Uh... The withering zones are pretty spooky. I'll say that they have a tone that they're setting up, and it's probably going to be very, very much related to the story, because I can't imagine it won't be. With how ominous this, uh, this withering is. Withering zones are fun. Yeah, I like that. I like the vibe. Um, hello? Uh, what are you? Lynn's capable of detecting the withering. Special sort of seed mirror can be used to spot withering zones that have not have yet to take shape. You can use this method to stop the creation and expansion of the withering ahead of time. These objects can also be activated using electro. What's with electro being like the main focus for uh doing dendro things? You think it would be like water or something more I don't know... Available? Because the only guaranteed Electro character you have is Lisa. And I doubt anybody's fucking using Lisa right now. You think you hooked your co-worker on the tail of a hundred stories, Japan's Test of Courage? I have no idea what that is. I'm gonna get go this way. Come on, where's this last set of things? Are they all over there? I want to go to the village. Hey, buddy. One with nature. I haven't even like tested Dendro out on a character or with the traveler yet. I haven't needed to. I'm kind of like looking forward to. 
being surprised by it in, in a way with um, if Kusanali ends up being really good, which I hope I can pull for her and uh, whoops. And we can get the full brunt of how good uh, Dendro is with an Archon level of strength. Did I already do a chest in this region? Or is there... Or is there only two? Let's, let's do these now. At the very least, to get it out of the way. Okay, they're just scattered around, gotcha. Go. Climb. That thing. And there we go. You might as well just let me get the chest. Unsolicited. And all the more valuable for it. Yeah, there's these grumpuses. You guys aren't gonna attack, are you? This might be the first um, creature in the game that is non-aggro by default um, doesn't run away and disappear and doesn't attack. Oh, th these are great. I like these things. Grumpus. <laughs> sometimes they attack, sometimes they don't. If I had to guess, the ones that automatically attack are the big ones, the, the big alpha creatures. Well, the little ones just follow its lead, maybe. But that it's it's nighttime, so it's asleep. Oh, that was the last one. I was just looking for one last little blip. Um. Oh, hello. Gather, fellas. Illusion shattered. Next victim. Shine down. Huh? Into the wind. Easy enough. A fateful offering. All right, thanks for stopping by, Sapphire. Have a good, Have a good day at work. Yeah. Is there something there that disappeared? I'm Spider-Man. Ah. To get close enough, I think. Shit. Come on. There we go. That should be this region. A fateful offer. Okay. How many are left? Uh, two more areas. Alright, just to the left of the chasm at the waterfall, it looks like. So, right there, actually.
Anyway, everyone sits in the gathering room where each person tells a scary story. After a person finishes their story, the teller must get up, walk through the interim room to get to the candle room, and blow out one of the hundred candles before making their way back to the gather. All in the dark, mind you. The Tale of a Hundred Stories is a game that was created centuries ago. You gather a hundred people to a location where you use three rooms, the gathering room, the interim room, and the candle room. So is it kind of like, um... Is it in the same vein as, um... Just seeing if people can, like, do, do a scary thing in the dark? Like, when people made, uh... When kids are going like, oh, say Bloody Mary three times in a mirror in, the, in a dark bathroom. Or something like that, but instead you're getting a candle. You're going through a dark hallway to get to another room, get a candle, and then take the candle back to the first room. Something like that. Unless there's, like, some, like, mythos behind it that, like, some supernatural element. The idea is that when the hundredth tale is told and Oni is summoned from the hundredth candle smoke to feed off the fear of everyone in the room... While the addendum is that there is no to be no other light or weapons in the rooms is not always mentioned. This game is not been once completed to the end of its entirety in its existence. Probably because you need a hundred people. And getting a hundred people to like agree to this sort of thing is kinda I don't know. It seems like it's a lot of setup. I mean I would participate. I wouldn't have a problem with it. Because, you know... <laughs> on the one hand, I don't think things like that exist, but on the other, if it did exist, hey, you know, that'd be an experience. Frozen. What, are you getting a nice view here? Solidify. One with nature. Frozen. Crisp. Cold cut platter. Bye. Fucking fade away into existence. These guys uh, disintegrate. Not to make another reference to Final Fantasy X because it's on my mind and I've been playing it, but they do fade away like that. Hey, bud. Stabilize. Illusion shattered. Let it all burn, I say. No, that's a mushroom next to some explosive barrels. I don't need to do that. I'm not getting the ping. Oh, because I'm... Mm. There we go. That's my bad. I was like, man, I've kind of like gone through most of this area. There's no way that they're all in one area. No, I have to activate the little Sealy fella. I follow the wind. Sure. Sorry, was it in the tree and I missed it? Or is it down here? There it is. Okay, okay. Kazooie's been helpful in this region so far. The reason they were able to get 100 people is because of the time it took place. The t game is held in the summer where nights were too hot. They played these games in the effort that, terror that a terror chill would cool everyone off. Doesn't sound like it's based on science. <laughs> Trying to chill the blood with fear. Hang on. Jesus. They don't display more than one on the map? That's kind of... Malarkey. Hiya! Those, uh, those drums remind me of, um... Crystal Chronicles. Music. 
That game had some good fucking music. It's such a shame that the the remake sucks. It doesn't allow like co-op? Like online co-op? I have no idea what they were thinking. So like, let's remake a one of the only multiplayer Final Fantasy games and not make it online. In the age of COVID, that should be priority one for a multiplayer game. Because it's been it's become painfully clear that um, couch co-op and multiplayer gaming like that, Something it's not the main way that people play games with each other. The wind knows it. Let's light it up. Internet's a little too good for there to be any excuse of not doing that anymore. It's all on the companies being able to implement it correctly. Alternatively, you have a game like Genshin that is online only, meaning you don't have connection to the internet, you can't play Genshin. Adventure time. Uh, which I'm also not a fan of. I wish that there was like some you could you could play it offline and carry over the progress whenever you do hook back up. Like, but you couldn't make say you couldn't do wishes or something like that. Like something that would use account currency. Because if somebody wants to fucking manipulate, like, oh, I want to spin Mora and then load a save, like, eh, it's. It's not worth the hassle of trying to, like, police that. It also guarantees that this game will die one day and not be playable in any state, officially. Like, the... The game will be completely released, all regions done. They'll have some... Follow the wind. They'll, they'll have some updates, you know, like post-game updates and like keep, keep keep you invested, but they're going to move on to the next game, and this game is just going to... They're going to stop supporting it. They're not going to use... bandwidth to, to support this game that's not getting updates anymore, eventually. So this is sort of a flash-in-the-pan thing. I mean, this, one of the only ways to experience this game in the future will be these videos that I'm like, recording right now. Uh, which is kind of sad to think about, but... You know, I... <sighs> games as a service, I don't, I don't know... Eventually, st that stuff goes away. <sighs> it's, it's so much work from everybody involved with the, the making of these games. It, it doesn't feel fair for those people to have their work, say, like, ten years after they finish, for it not to be available in any official form. Certainly worth the Sounds like Maple Leaf. Maple Story? Is that what you're talking about? Otherwise, I've not heard of that. Because they came out with Maple Story 2, which I guess is... Was a replacement. I only remember Oop, groceries. No problem. But yeah, it's a, uh, it's all a thing. Yeah, Maple Story. Okay. I was gonna try out Maple Story two at one point, but um, never got around to it. it just didn't find the motivation. It wasn't worth it. People spending real money on plots of land in that game. I think, okay, one more area. Now, I think you can see from here. Okay, we got jungle trees in the water up to the left. Okay. I guess just to get the exclamation point out of here. Let's take a look. Right there, just south of this one. Not so bad. I suppose, I suppose it'll be nice to go to this area and just uh, walk around and explore. 
uh, with all the, the teleports unlocked, just if I need to get somewhere in the distance quicker. Or, like, go and do something and then come back to it easily. Well, I like this place. Taking a stroll in the middle of a downpour certainly rouses the spirit. But it's best to dry your clothes as soon as possible after the rain stops. What's this bubble? Stabilize! There is no escape! <laughs> One with nature! <laughs> Illusion shattered into the wind. The water thing come back as it didn't die from falling off the cliff. The wind knows me. Wait a minute. Oh, there's a thing in here. Says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering. Oh. Oh, these little mushrooms do dendro damage. Okay. There we go. It's one. I, uh, zip somewhere? I'd like to zip. Can you let me zip? I, I like that addition. I really do. Just being able to get somewhere a little faster. Especially with a place with this much of verticality. It's nice to have a uh, alternative form of travel other than, you know... Just have Kaz Kazooie. He'll get you around. Ow! Hang on, can I kill these things? Solidify. Doesn't seem like it. Unless that's them being used. Stabilize. Maybe that's it. Maybe you're supposed to shoot him from a distance. Something like that. Am I too close to zip to that? Okay, that's what's going on. Yo, stop! Oh, how high up this tree do I need to go? Please don't make me explore this gigantic tree right now. I want to do that later. That's something. Sound like a swamp in here. I don't like swamps. There is no escape. Let's get an extra bounce from this. Boing. So they really do want you to use... I don't know what that means! Probably puzzle-related. Uh, I'm not doing that, though. 
Hello? Get over it, Moira boy. Cluster leaves of cultivation and four-leaf sigils. You will f sometimes come across cluster leaves of cultivation in Sumeru, which will scatter four-leaf sigils around when they come into contact with Dendro. Use these objects to make your adventures in Sumeru easier. So, shoot it with Dendro. Something happens. Okay. Well, we're not here to explore, so... That is something I will do another time. We're not looking for the little Korok, fellas. Paimon, stop trying to distract me. Yeah, this thing was not here earlier. I can zip to this. Yoink. Alright, that's all three dig spots. I think this is the final one. Yep. Alright, we're doing... Gliding puzzle. There you go. Hey. Back over there. That frog sounded awfully close, way up in the fucking air. Brings a smile to my face. So yeah, there's um there's a couple things that I'm not a fan of in video games. Uh, swamps is one thing. Even in a game I love, like Left 4 Dead, I did not like the swamp levels in Left 4 Dead 2. I don't like the swamps in Dark Souls or Bloodborne. Uh, swamps I just don't like. Typically. I think this is fine. Um, this is fine for swamps. As far as swamps go, this is okay. Uh, the, the other thing I don't like in video games, which may sound weird and kind of blasphemous, is uh, sunsets. Uh, sunsets in video games are kind of annoying. Specifically, specifically when they last longer than, like, a couple minutes. The everlasting sunsets I don't like. Uh, I don't know if it's the color orange, or... I don't know. I'm okay with a sunset. Except in real life when you're driving and the sun is, like, directly in your eyes. Sorry, little fella. I need your stuff. I actually don't need his stuff. That's a lie. <laughs> Uh, I actually prefer sunrises to sunsets. So I guess there's that. Oh, hello, fellas. Illusion Stabilize. I think this is it. Final chest of this, uh, event. Who says there aren't benefits to a life of wonder? So let's check, uh, okay, yeah, this is, uh, that. It's new sigils. Sigils. Well, supposedly Valve is supposed to share the liquid physics from Alex to other software companies. That's cool. Didn't they update the Source Engine not too long ago? 
I saw like a video where they were like stacking melons in a crate and then they like dumped them out with the the, the grab gun. Exchange shop. Do I need to go to this guy to actually exchange this stuff? Or can I just exchange it right here? I see. <laughs> you have to choose one. Okay, 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 okay. You can only exchange for one type of mini Sealy. Dayflower, mini Sealy, Rose, Sarcuma, Sealy, Viola, mini Sealy, Moss. So I get to choose one of these. The way it was explained, I guess via leaks or whatever, was you get this green one and then you get to choose one of these. But in actuality, you only get to choose one. I'm thinking purple. Let's see what the descriptions say. A miniature sea blue Sealy. Unlike other Sealy, it does not serve to guide others, but to follow them to see the world. A miniature powder pink Sealy. Though it cannot say a word, it will silently follow a traveler that strikes its fancy around the world. A miniature golden Sealy. It gives off a feeling very similar to that of Mora. They say that Sealy of this color represent good fortune. A miniature purple Sealy. Its color is very similar to that of electro-infused items. Who knows if you might get a little tingle from poking it. And a miniature green sealy. It becomes most happy indeed when it gets close to a tree. Let's see here. Um, I'm actually just going to look up. I have to do this on my phone, by the way. Uh, mini sealy difference. What's the difference between mini sealy and Genshin Impact? <sighs> Other than luck, obviously. There are three different types available. So wait, it was, it was, it was written last year. So before last year, in January 2021, these top three were the only ones available. I guess they added this one, and then they added this one. So technically, even if you played this game from the get-go, from 1.0, you could still be missing two Sealies, because they only allowed one exchange each time. Okay. Is there any difference between the mini Sealy? Main difference between the four is four. This is written a while ago. Is there color palettes? They also have different idle animation. Okay, I need, I need they have different idle animations. That's something. I need to look at the, the video. Genshin ad. Advertising Sumeru. Yellow does a little twirl, like, dip and dive and twirl. Oh, they all do that little dip and dive and twirl. Well, why did they say that they have a different idle animation? That's a lie. Probably don't need sound for this. Um... They make sounds? Yeah, they look exactly like the little one we had following us around, except different color. So that's back before purple existed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh... Can I... Uh... Colors... My videos... Two days ago... Here we go, showcase.
Wow, somebody made like a fucking apartment building. Look straight out of Queens. Oh, look at that frame rate. That's nice. Sorry, you're not seeing this. I'm, I'm watching this on my phone. <laughs> okay, I'm skipping ahead. Um, I don't know, I'm feeling the purple one, honestly. I think Sapphire was thinking she was going to get the pink one. I think they all do the exact same thing. It looks... I'm looking at all the animations and they seem to do the same things. Colors and animations. This is from last year. And I mean, yeah, I definitely don't want the audio on for this ad. Every player will get 30 free summons in this super cool game that sucks. We don't, we don't need commentary, but I'm looking and literally um, frame for frame, they're doing the exact same idle animation. Yeah. Doing the exact thing, same thing. So I guess it's just color preference. It's just color preference. Okay. So my my reasoning for this... I'm going to go Viola. I'm going to go Viola. Uh, one is because Raiden Shogun is uh, really good. Probably never going to leave my team. Um, she's a little too good. Uh, purple goes with her. Um, it fits with her as, like, maybe her sister. Uh, her sister who, spoiler for the story, do doesn't uh, survive and is gone. And it's like a little, her, her sister is uh, going around with her. Alternatively, uh, Ka Kazuha, his friend, also dies. <laughs> and he had an electrovision. And uh, I don't know. I, I, I think I, I also like the color. My second choice would probably be pink or blue, but I'm going to go with Viola. And there it is. That's the decision made. Wow. One wish gained. Wait, that's a 240? Slightly more than one wish. This Mora is the equivalent of one day of... Well, maybe two days of um, doing the, the ley lines. So that's the event. Let's uh, let's use the little Sealy and uh, see how it looks. This serious one. Is it a gadget? It is. Surely enough to convince anyone to become a wanderer. Wait a minute. Oh, it doesn't take up the gadget slot. That's good. I guess I make that tiny little noise and people get upset by it. Um, see, so yeah, what else ca it fits under this category? It's classified as a gadget. There are leaves around. 
I think it's it's more similar to the uh, the teapot, the Serena teapot. You like summon Just it up. The tune to accompany them, if you wish to hear it. Oh, there's the noise. Huh. Um, there's other pets in this game that uh, I missed out on. One of them being the Oceanid. Which is a miniature version of... I can see that getting annoying. Okay, uh, the miniature version of the boss that's over here. Uh, I missed out on that. I missed out on a, like, a uh, origami samurai who floats around and follows you. I, he, he was added into the game right around the time I was about to start. I was still doing, like, leeway story stuff, and I hadn't got to Inazuma yet. And he was an, he was an Inazuma pet, so you had to go to Inazuma to actually do it. So I missed out on him. And then I missed out on the first two Sealy events. So this is the first time I'm actually getting a pet in the game. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, I think that's going to be it for this stream. I'm going to go ahead and get out of this area. This is already a big, big area. And this is like only half of what this uh, region has to offer. Um, weirdly explored 9% of these regions by actively avoiding things. 3%, 0, 4, that makes sense. 100% on everything else. Uh, so eventually, whenever my PC gets fixed, um, we'll come back to this. Uh, this... This might be something I do slightly on stream 17 days. We'll see. We'll see if my PC is done within 17 days. If it's getting close, like if it's within the three to four day range, I'll do this on stream on the PS4. Uh, oh yeah, you get Kole for free. Or Co I don't know how to pronounce her name because I've never heard it out loud. Uh, time remaining 18 days. I guess if we're getting close to that, then I'm going to have to buckle down and just do the story to get her for free. Yeah, I have to do Archon Quest up to a point to unlock her. Uh, we get Tainari's, um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, right, I have to do the, uh, Archon quest to actually unlock him. So that's something else we can do at some point. So yeah, now we have a lot to do in the game, but I'm not wanting to do it on the PS4. Hopefully this gets you some great success instead of BS. Yeah, I'm hoping the motherboard is the problem and that we get it fixed. Uh, because I'd like to play PC games again. There was also Sea of Thieves we were playing, we were enjoying. I'd love to play that with my friends. Um, Phasmophobia was something we were enjoying and having fun with. Uh, yeah. I want to get back into PC gaming. I want to be able to watch videos and just sort of multitask when I'm... That's, that's one of the main issues, is after the stream is done, you know, after I'm not playing games... Uh, is just pulling up a YouTube video and idly playing something in, in the background, like on a separate monitor. I haven't been able to do normal, like watch videos and do stuff normally in two months. I've had to have PS4 up on the TV and then either just me on my phone or... Me playing the Switch. I, I haven't had any sort of multitasking uh, going on. I'm kind of like itching. Where is this fucking there is no teleport? 
There it is. Alright, I just wanted to get that teleport for getting out of here. Um, yeah, I know that teleport's right over there. But I'm not gonna do it. Thank you for coming. Mobile YouTube sucks. Yeah, and, uh, well, I'm watching YouTube on PS4. I shit you not, I'll be watching a stream, like, uh, you know, Germa or Vine Sauce or whatever the fuck, Game Grumps. And they have, like, either a 30-minute video or a 40-minute video or a two-hour video or a six-hour video. And no joke, PS4 YouTube will give you ads every five minutes on a six-hour video. It's, it's a lot of ads in a very short amount of time. It's maddening. Uh, it's a lot. Uh, let's see here. Five. Yeah, it's 72 ads in the span of like six hours or something like that. And then I realized, I started realizing how ads are um, geared and how they're sort of like aimed at people. Communistic YouTube. It didn't used to be that way for PS4. Apparently that was only a thing they added at, since the PS5 came out. It's like they're punishing you for watching YouTube on an outdated platform. Uh, that's why I just, I, I ad block. Mwah, I love it. I, I can't wait to get back to ad block because all these predatory and annoying ads I want to get rid of. Oh, the, 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 the targeting thing. Uh, for a while, I was just getting normal, you know, video game ads, you know, uh, movie ads, whatever, a streaming service, whatever. And then all of a sudden, I started getting alcohol ads out of nowhere. Yeah, YouTube Red, they're punishing for not buying that, yeah. I was getting alcohol ads, like, like multiple, like different brands, like four or five different alcohol, alcohol commercials, cons like, and it kept happening. I was like, what is the... Why am I getting these ads all of a sudden? And then I got, uh, like, a, I, mean, I started getting ads in Spanish, like soccer ads. I was like, what is going on? I, I googled, like, why why would two, YouTube give me alcohol ads all of a sudden? They're like, well, YouTube ads are geared towards specific audiences. Like, for example, they'll gear alcohol ads towards sports fans. I'm like, I'm not... I don't watch sports on YouTube. Why would they think that I watch sports? And I, like, thought for, like, about two seconds before realizing, oh, there was a, uh, a Germa video where he did a baseball stream where he had, like, two teams, the clowns and the magicians, fighting, you know, going against each other. And it, it was, like, a big event or whatever. It was a big live-action uh, stream that he did. But it was a baseball stream. I was like... Oh, because I typed in baseball in the search to get that video up, they think I'm a fan of baseball and I'm now getting tons of alcohol ads. So I went to my history, my watch and search history, and I deleted. I deleted the search for baseball. I deleted me watching, like the history of me watching those videos and the alcohol ads went away. Immediately they went away and it went back to normal whatever, like, video game and streaming services ads. No joke. That's... That happened. I was seeing through the cracks. I was seeing the Matrix with YouTube ad algorithms. It was so weird. So weird. Um... Wild. <laughs> anyway. Uh... Thanks for coming. Um... We'll do more of this... Soon-ish. Depending on... I, it's all up to whether a computer gets fixed or not. Uh, and if, uh, if it's not fixed within the next 16, like, next two weeks, I'll come back and do however much I need to do to get Cole and, uh, you know, wait again. Yeah, you have a good night, too. Uh, aside from that, like, if the computer isn't fixed very, very soon, I might do... Fuck, I might do an Octopath stream. I might do a Final Fantasy X stream. I might do a Spider-Man stream. It's going to be console games, but um, there might be a weird out-of-left-field stream that I do. 
but I'm hoping my computer gets fixed. Anyway, thanks for coming. Bye-bye.